Well, welcome back again, everyone. Today we're reviewing the Short Run 2013 from EP Carrillo. This is the Robusto. It's an odd size Robusto. Technically, it's 4.875 by 50. So 4.9, we'll call it, by 50. Here's your cigar. There is the designated 2013. There is your density. Uh, the cigar is a medium brown, as you can see. It uses an uh, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. Uh, the binder is a Palato Cubano from the Dominican, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Ecuadorian filler. So, the uh, to be honest with you, the wrapper is a little splotchy but uh, these are select leaves and uh, to be honest with you also I will be shocked if this is not a very good cigar the Carrillo's have made uh, some great cigars but here we go we're going to get started right away EP Carrillo short run 2013 Robusto all right here we go all right there we go. Good draw there. Well, almost right away, I get a nice sweet orange, citrus, and cedar combination. It's a very light flavor. Uh, what I mean by that is it's, um, you get those flavors in a concentration uh, before you get anything else. Now, aside from those, maybe just a touch of earth, but uh, you really get a nice sweet combination in about 50-50 parts of orange, citrus, and cedar. Uh, maybe just a touch of cream also mixed in there. I would say there's definitely a touch of cream. So orange, citrus, cedar, a little touch of cream and some earth notes. And that's how we're starting. So let's see where it goes from here. It's very sweet, uh, very nice. I like it. EP Carrillo Short Run 2013. Well, it didn't take long, about a half inch for the flavors to somewhat change. It's now a cedary nutmeg. Still sweet, still have the earth notes, sort of a touch of cream attached to that cedar and nutmeg. Uh, the pepper is fairly good at about uh, between a six and a seven. Let's call it a six and a half because it's just shy of what I would think it would be a seven. And the finish is a very nice toasty cream. Uh, it's very long, has some sweetness to it and some nice lingering pepper. So that's where we are, I would call the cigar medium body and it is uh, burning fairly evenly so there we have the first little change well I'm about an inch and a quarter in and that ash is about ready to drop flavors are about the same but they're just more intensified now you the cedar is a little stronger. The nutmeg is a little stronger, and it's, both of those are a little sweeter. The pepper has moved up to about, oh, 
it's between a seven and an eight now. And the finish is still one of toasted, a toasted cream. It's very long, as I said before, last. And um, there's a, some nice lingering pepper. It sort of tingles on your palate and back of your tongue. So uh, it's very nice. And as you can see, that ash is just drooping oh so much. So I'm gonna take it to the ashtray in case it falls. But if it, the cigar is just picked up, everything is just sort of blossomed. Uh, it was good before, in the last segment, you could tell, but uh, this is just, it's just gotten to another level. So it's made a big jump forward. Well, we're very close to the end, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, but the flavors are about like they were. The only thing now is there's addition, there's the addition of a few charred oak notes. They are not overly obvious, but you do get them. And I started getting them about five minutes ago and I thought they were gonna be more intense than they are, but they're hints. They sort of come and go, but they are there. But uh, everything else is about the, about the same. Uh, very enjoyable cigar so far, uh, very, uh, much like uh, you would expect from the Carrillos, uh, but uh, burning very evenly. So, uh, barring any unforeseen changes, I'll be back to wrap it up here shortly. Well, we're pretty much down to the end, so I'm going to wrap it up. Here at the end, the cedar notes really came out a little more. The uh, nutmeg became subdued. The cedar is still sweet. You still have those hints of uh, charred oak, which really covered up a lot of those earth notes. Um, the pepper remained good as, as uh, it was uh, previously. Uh, the finish was about the same. Cigar was about medium body throughout, and it burned very evenly. This is a very good short run by the Carrillos. Um, it's right in line with their other cigars. I enjoyed it very much. I um, don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, I'd be curious to see what this would be like in a longer version, like a Churchill or something. But this Robusto was uh, fairly short. You're looking at about an hour. and. Um, I guess to sum it up, I'll just have to give it a score. I'm giving it a score of 92. Very good cigar, on shelves now, not priced bad. I believe this was around $6. So uh, try them, get them while you can, because short run is short run. So there you have it, the EP Carrillo Short Run 2013 Robusto 92.